four months ago. I released this box loader haul. I thought it was pretty good. I was pretty proud of it at least. And yeah, it worked at two times hyper speed. It was one way tellable. It had most of the features one could desire. But not all. The first problem is the toggle states. Here's a toggle state example. If we use an observer to make a piston extend, it spits out its block. As long as the machine runs normally, it won't be an issue. But let's say we use a bunch of them and something does happen. The machine will horribly break. It'll be a nightmare. So the best thing we can do about it is to reduce the toggle states to a minimum. The second issue I had with the box loader hall was the buffered shulker boxes. These droppers would always contain some buffered shulker boxes, which are inaccessible, and it's pretty bad. And the third and final issue was that the box loader wasn't compatible with box displays. Now that we've solved all of these issues, let me present you the new box loader. I decided to give a chance to the overhead box loader design. I only needed to create a new layout that doesn't present an ugly hopper because I, I just I just can't. The collected shulker box will make its way into this chest right there and then into the barrel. No buffered item. When the storage is full, the overflow is gonna go into this dropper right there and it's going to get spit out into this water stream right there. From there you can send the shulk boxes into a bulk storage that's going to be more adapted to storing big quantities of items. I made two versions. There's one with the box holder alone and there's another one that includes a box display that I made based on someone else's design. If you want to you can also add a solid block there and a lamp right there and it'll show when the slice is active. For this design I use cubic meters over stacking item filters. Here's how you set up this item filter. You just need to fold the middle hoppers with the items that you'll be filtering. Put a few filter items. Use two unstackable items here. Then you'll need two curse books. You want to put them into a grindstone and merge them together. You're gonna have to shift click the books into your inventory because if you click them, they're going to unstack and it won't work. Then shift click your curse books and add 60 items in here. If you want to use these box loaders, you can go in the video description and grab a world download or the Lematics. The YouTube algorithm tells me that people who like and subscribe my videos are more likely to lock hoppers. So be part of the well-behaved people and subscribe!